Yo, what's happening everybody? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host Jan. I hope you lot are doing well. Are you doing well? Because I hope so. Welcome back to the channel Football Therapy and welcome to today's video which is on the Ajax superstar winger Hakim Ziyech. That's right, you've probably seen the news. Apparently Chelsea have agreed, verbally agreed, but agreed the transfer of Ziyech to Chelsea from Ajax in the summer, forget this, 38 million pounds. It's like Danny Drinkwater money, less than Bakayoko. That's right, a Dutch publication has published, funnily enough, this story today. It's going around a little bit, it's pretty much saying it's done. Tammy Abraham is liking the posts of graphical edits of Ziyech. Anyway, it all looks like very positive. So I'm going to talk about that today, talk about what's been said, give you the real numbers and the nitty gritty of the winger and what to expect and what it means for Chelsea and the other wingers and Jadon Sancho. But before we do get into today's content, I want to remind you guys and urge you to subscribe to Football Therapy if you've not yet done so. Please do, we're so close to 40k. Hit the bell notifications icon as well, please. Why not like the video? You can come and follow me on Instagram to hang out on Instagram Lives and talk football. All right, let's get into it. Right, so it's The Telegraph, which I'm assuming is The Telegraph <laughs> in Dutch. Chelsea have agreed a deal in principle for Ajax midfielder slash winger Hakim Ziyech, according to the reports. So only recently the news came out that Chelsea did actually go in for him in January and make a bid for him. I've actually already reported on this, but we knew as well he wants to go in for the summer, but apparently the noises are all coming out saying yes, he will go to Chelsea in the summer. There are verbal agreements and it's going to be for £38 million. Now this rumour was only solidified more by Tammy Abraham. I know it's one of these social media things, but you know, liking a post regarding Hakim to Chelsea. So people like the idea, we know Frank Lampard likes him and publications are pretty much saying it is done. So the Morocco international aged 26, very, very, very talented footballer. We know superb creatively in the middle, playing in the hole, going out to the wing, an absolute dead ball specialist. We've all seen his superstar free kicks. Playing for Ajax, he scored 79 goals and registered 87 assists in just 213 league games. And get this, posted by whoscored.com, moreover, Ziyech has registered double figures for assists in six consecutive league campaigns. Six years in a row, he's getting over double figures and assists. There is your Eden Hazard, Cesc Fabregas assist replacement right there. Hakim's got it. He'll put loads and loads of chances in. 26 years old. He's going to be a baller for a few years now. He's not young. He's not naive. He is ripe. Superb. Just a really good footballer. Right, on that article that Who Scored published, they also put the graphic of how he's doing this season. I'm going to pop that up on the screen now. And as you can see, the rating they've given him, comfortably over 8. Now that is very, 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 yeah, very, that is very generous from whoscored.com. They're usually really tight. Basically, he's performing like an absolute superstar. Right, so in terms of how he plays, he's very, very versatile. I think we'd see him on the right wing quite a lot, provided this comes to pass and the transfer is made. Either wings, but per perhaps more dominantly on the right wing. Can also play in a number 10. Can probably play in a free man midfield as well. Very, very versatile. Could take corners, can take free kicks, can take penalties, can dribble. Just essentially he's very, very creative and he wants to find that final pass. And if Chelsea carry on making those runs into the box that Frank Lampard is trying to train his midfielders to do, much like he did when he was a player, you suddenly got someone that's going to put in ball after ball after ball after ball. Now let's talk about this reported prize for just a minute, please. £38 million. Pounds. Okay, so I thought people coming into the Premier League are supposed to pay Premier League tax. This is just blowing my mind, man. This guy is recognised as one of the superstar wingers in world football who's just signed a new contract to Ajax, presumably to crank up his price. Now, this is weird, right? Maybe Ziyech said just wants to come to Chelsea's per transfer request in. They see it as a reasonable price. Maybe everyone sat down, like I said, this verbal agreement, and they came to a £38 million. But darn, man, Frankie De Jong and Matthias De Ligt, they all went for, they both went rather for so much more than that. Um, and they're not attacking players. They're like more, well, midfielder and De Jong, but they're more like midfield, defensive, defensive players. Usually that's 
cheaper. So this is crazy. When someone talks about ZH, I think I said it in a previous video, it would be like 70 million plus. It's literally half of that. So if this is true and Chelsea genuinely have loads of money to spend next summer, they could buy loads of players. But yeah, that's blowing my mind, man. 38 million pounds. That is cheap. Especially when you think of players like Bruno Fernandes, who is playing at a similar level in the uh, Portuguese league as the Eredivisie. Sure, he's a really, really good midfielder, but Hakim Ziyech, man, he's like recognised as one of the best. Right, so let's talk about what I think about this transfer. <laughs> Obviously, it would be an amazing move for Chelsea, but what the big glaring question is, if they're signing Ziyech, does that mean they're not signing Jadon Sancho? I mean, obviously, if you want to go all football manager and FIFA 20, you'd sign both. Yeah, one will replace Pedro, one will replace Willian. No problem, man. It's all good. Four elite wingers with Pulisic and hudson Adoy as well. But <laughs> they're all going to want to be starting wingers. All four of those people are going to be like, yeah, we start. Unless, of course, Frank Lampard does have some big grand plans to play uh, Hakim in the hole as a number 10 to, like, bench make in mount essentially and have someone a bit more experienced to mentor him i mean that would be cool but he does his best work on the flanks i think so this is just a very very peculiar situation do you have four elite wingers at a club that's in a transitional rebuild season i'm not so sure i think you have like two maybe three starting level and a rotational one get the rest of the team going and then when you've got an elite 11 14 and stuff then you can start having you know two in each position at elite level i just don't think chelsea have that motorbike all right it's gone i just don't think chelsea have that luxury just yet do you know what i mean like i don't want to sound like negative about two potential world-class signings but the thing is hakim ziyech would be a world-class signing in terms of maybe not world-class player but a profile of signing of someone his age that can still get better boy oh boy and for that money man i hate to keep bringing it up but when it's like you know a couple of million more than Danny Drinkwater who's failed loans at Aston Villa and Burnley it really makes you think damn this is a searing deal so let's think about another thing he's he's a starting level winger no we all agreed starting level winger so who's gonna suffer Pulisic has to be a starting level winger or in theory rotational fighting for that left hand spot uh, maybe with Callum hudson Doyle or whatever Pulisic costs 57 million pounds or whatever so that's that Chelsea will not want to waste their asset they need to play him he's talented enough boom Pulisic's a starting winger at the moment Willian is a starting winger but it's got to be Willian then right Chelsea don't renew his contract he wants to play football I guess maybe the Barcelona thing on a free has legs maybe and he's like right you know what you want to go to Barcelona I'm going to bench you against Leicester you can go on the free in the summer. We're going to set up a verbal agreement with Hakim Ziyech. He's coming, £38 million. Pounds. Lovely, jubbly. Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt, and all that Cockney slang. Chelsea got two elite wingers again. He does loads and loads of assists as well, but he will chip in with goals and, you know, free kicks as well. It's an amazing signing, but for me, it does make me worried that Chelsea won't secure the signature of Jadon Sancho because, honestly, I just can't see it working. It's having hudson Adoy. Pulisic, Sancho and Ziyech just doesn't make sense to me how do you keep all those sort of tier of players happy granted you could say well hudson Adoy is still young rotate him out but it's still going to be difficult man anyway we have to watch this space obviously i'll keep you guys updated on football therapy as and when we get more news but the news at the moment is it is a dutch publication that's pretty much said yes the agreement's there if there is a fee as well it's not just like oh he's coming to Chelsea in the summer I think no there's an agreement there this is how much money it's going to cost everyone's happy Cammy Abraham's liking posts that are linking him with Chelsea it seems pretty much like it might happen or as far as things stands it's going to happen it's just formalities in the summer who knows maybe this verbal agreement's in place now as a security measure so right no matter what everyone no matter what we are signing Hakim Ziyech but if we can get Sancho, maybe this verbal agreement gets dropped. Do you know what I mean? Maybe the verbal agreement is on the premise of, yeah, you're coming to Chelsea, you're going to get all this money, you'll love the move, if we can't get Sancho. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Which would be really harsh on Hakim, but I reckon that, you know, that could be it. It's just In my world, I'm just really, really struggling to see Chelsea secure both. But anyway, that's the news. What do you guys think? I really want to get down in the comments and see what you guys are saying. 
obviously it will be a colossal positive signing, but what do you think it means for the current wingers, uh, the future potential signing of Sancho? Get down in the comment section below, let me know your thoughts on this, I'll be down there reading them, and also, if you've enjoyed the video guys, why not like the video, share it with your friends, we're going to hit that 40k mark, keep soaring like a beautiful eagle over the plains of YouTube. Anyway, uh, you can follow me on social media as well, at Football Yannick on both Instagram and Twitter. Be sure to follow me on Instagram, I'm trying to beef it up a little bit. So when I do these Instagram lives to talk to you guys about Chelsea and football, there's enough people in the chat asking questions, so be sure to follow me on Instagram, at Football Yannick. That's it for me, ladies and gentlemen. Be sure to swing by Football Therapy daily for Chelsea updates. Enjoy the football, and I will see you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living, I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines, I rap through thought. Body bag the verse, outline the chuck. In my life seen trouble, hustle on the double. Silence on the trigger like my pick got a muzzle. Yo, chick like to guzzle, bad boy stay in trouble. I only love this paper, sorry I don't. I love me, baby.